Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel and another daily devotion, the word for you today. If you have not done so already, please make sure you click on that subscribe button. We thank you for your support. Today's devotion is titled Money Matters in Marriage. Money matters. They could have stopped right there. <laughs> and our scripture is Proverbs 15, 27. He who is greedy for gain troubles his own house. Oh, boy. Today, one of the biggest sources of conflict in marriage is money. That is because a husband and wife often have opposite ideas about how it ought to be used. Stop and consider the words delayed gratification. <clears throat> Excuse me. When one spouse is willing to delay purchasing something until their financial house is in order, but the other one isn't, the battle lines begin to form. Another disagreement that can arise is deciding when and for what credit should be obtained. This is treacherous territory. Nothing irritates a disciplined, thrifty person more than living with someone who wastes their income and their future earnings on things that aren't truly needed. Oh, hallelujah. Another potential minefield in marriage for many of us is deciding when and how much to give to our children. Because we love them so much, we want life to be easier and better for them growing up than it was for us. But it takes a steady hand to hold a full cup. The Bible clearly teaches the virtues of hard work, living frugally, saving, building, and producing by the sweat of our brows. And if our children don't learn these virtues the right way while they're living in our home, there is a good chance they will learn them the hard way while building their own home. So here's some good advice. Stay out of debt as much as possible and be extremely cautious with credit cards. Their misuse can weaken your family's stability and future. Indeed, credit cards should be labeled danger, handle with care. <laughs> Jesus put it this way, beware, guard against every kind of greed. Life is not measured by how much you own. Hallelujah. Luke 12 and 15. And, you know, tithing should be at the top of that list. I know people don't like to talk about it, but that is the first thing that should happen. And then just pray about it. Every time I even think about buying something, whether I can afford it or not, I pray about it. So, and sometimes I go ahead and do it. And sometimes I don't, but if you just stop and pray about it, you know, then God will, God will show you, ask him to show you, you know, whether or not that's a good decision or pleasing to him. So there you have it. Money matters in marriage. But that goes for any relationships <laughs> where you are, where money is involved. So uh, have a wonderful, wonderful day. God bless you all. And we will see you tomorrow.